show. Where was I at? We was talking about George. And I hate to be, I whatever you call it, but in all probability, at our age, and us not being able to drive and stuff, Look at all them cans. I, I got to dig, so I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna get them. It's probably gonna be the last time we get to see each other. Whichever one of us passes away first, who knows? but we won't be able to go to each other from here. Uh, uh. And we're kind of both in the same situation. His daughter takes care of him. And my daughter, I don't, can, I don't look at it as her taking care. I mean, she helps me, but she's not taking care of me, you know. I pretty much take care of myself. Oh. But that sun's getting rather warm. And I kind of shave part of my beard. I no, I ain't I'm talking to myself. I don't think Lauren's there. Wow. GoPro start recording. Put them right here. Put them right there. What is that called on? Right there. There you go, Miss Lauren. Boy, she's got that garage full. She'll start having yard sales again. What is she throwing away? What is them? I don't know what them are. Dauber, you don't need it. I 
I'm gonna see what one of them is. Just I'm just curious. That is. What is that? I don't know. Oops. Oh dear, she's throwing away electric cord. She's throwing away electric. Take that cord. I um, my beard got to itching me. So I cut most of it off. I didn't mean, it was just driving me nuts all of a sudden. So, oh, <laughs> I've always wanted to grow this kind of a mustache. Let me show it to you. Oh, I got a, my daughter gave me a haircut too, so don't get shocked. <laughs> what do you think? I may get go to the barber and get him to. No, I won't need it. It costs too much. But there you see it, and my bald head. Now, um. <clears throat> I may not be having a live stream this Saturday. Uh, my brother, uh, matter of fact, the only brother that I have any kind of relationship with is George. He's not been doing all that great with help. Um, they live in Virginia, up around close to Richmond, a place called Hopewell. And uh, his daughter lives with him, her and her son. She's got a six-year-old son. And she helps take care of him and stuff. And she's wanting to fly down here on Thursday or Friday. And she wants to, they'll be in Orlando, and she wants to come down here and get me and take me back to Orlando to spend the night so me and George can have some time together. So I'm not quite sure how all that can work as far as, as far as me having my live stream and uh, all that stuff. But I can't pass this. Uh, I haven't seen my brother in probably 10 or 15 years. Some, I know it's been more than 10. His health is not good. It sucks that if somebody called me up and said George passed away, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, so this may be the last time me and him get to see each other.
man, man, George. We're the only one of the five siblings. that has any memory of when mama took off and abandoned us and our grandmamas. And on Mother's Day of 1951, me and him's the only ones got any memory of it. No, but Carolyn should. She's just a year younger than me, but she's older than George. She don't remember nothing. At least that's what she says. Maybe she don't care. My, I don't know. She's peculiar. She's peculiar. She lives right here in the county. She lives about 10 or 15 miles from me. And I probably hadn't seen her Uh, I imagine the last time I seen her was maybe 10 years ago. Yep, that's right. If I talk to her, it's because I call her. Sad. And she's got a bunch of kids and stuff and everything. And, uh, only time I see them is when I run into them. When I'm out going to a store or something. Um, I kind of guess... I, I quit seeing them much or anything in 1990 when my grandson was, my oldest grandson was born. Because I knew how some of them felt about him being biracial. So I just quit taking him over there. Uh, they never, had none of them ever come to see me or make any effort to see me in over 30 years. What is that? Is that a pillar? That's a dog bed. I don't want that. My dog has a bed. My bed. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I want to see George. I'd like to spend some time, but it's just going to be a day. Maybe the last time I get to see him. Now, I say, you know, if he died, like, I wouldn't be able to go to his funeral because to start with, I can't, I don't have a vehicle and I couldn't drive it anyway. And lots of trash. Well, I'm at Miss Caroline's. Almost forgot to turn the camera on.
Okay, I'm headed to the house. I just cleaned my hands with hand sanitizer. I guess I should have made a video of that because people are getting on me about not cleaning my hands. You know. Well, no Jacoby cans. I'm eating a mandarin orange. Or, I don't know if a mandarin's an orange or a tangerine. More like a tangerine. I sure like them. The price has been way down on. Here lately. I have got a late start. You know, this guy told me he had set his cans out in the bag for me, but I had a sneaking idea they wouldn't do it. They like putting them in the garbage and making me dig for them, and I'm not going to dig for them. I'm not going to dig for them. I'm going to take a look. Uh, I got a cup of good coffee here and I'm going to drink that. I don't know what I did different this morning, but my coffee was better. Uh, this is going to bear some looking into. I'm not digging now, but is that a... That's a stainless steel pot. You know what? I think that's a I don't know what it is. I'm gonna put it right there for right now. I'm gonna put that in there. Gotta be real careful. I'm digging. Dad, gone it. Well, I got my hand sanitizer, so. What is that? I'm gonna set my coffee down. Nothing.
It's nothing. All that work for nothing. Um, that pot. I'm gonna make sure that gets to the scrappers. All right, my lady friend got me a bag of cans. Uh, let me do this. Oops, knock that off. I better just throw that. I oh, thank you, dear. I see a lizard running up her wall over there. <laughs> thank you very much, dear. Now, I picked up cans yesterday at uh, Miss Caroline, so. I don't need to go by Miss Caroline's. Uh. And I don't know what Lisa did down here, but that spot that was getting bald and everything, it's kind of growed back. Well, there's some clover in there. I ain't going to dig, I'm just going to take a little peek. See, I didn't dig. <laughs> I didn't dig. All right. I'm going to take another little peek. Empty. Well. This one up here ain't empty. I'm just gonna take a peek. See, I just took a peek. Now. Here comes the lady walking her dog or a guy. I can't make it out right now. Can't make it out. I believe it's the lady. Yeah, it's the lady. I see boobs. How you doing? Nice ride. You have a good day. That was a nice lady. Now, I'm coming up on my Florida rocks. My Florida rocks, here we go. It's getting bumpier and bumpier. Hello, Florida rocks. I wonder how I have it in there. My Florida rocks. Have a good one. How you doing? Very good, thanks.
hundred and sixty dollars a little box of freestyle test strips like I use I'm getting kind of low on them and they hadn't sent me any more yet I thought well maybe I'll just buy a box Figuring they'd cost around $30 or $40. Oh boy, did I miss that. $160. $160. My gosh. All right.